everyone. It's me, Demetra Kay of the Demetra Kay Show here on YouTube and the proud contributor of the African Diaspora News channel. If you could do me a favor and please subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So this story is coming to us from there in South Carolina of a woman by the name of Tashi Vance. She was brutally beaten by her daughter's father by the name of Jesse Tyler Crooks. Now, this incident took place on March 17th, where somehow he lured her um, into a car and there he and two other women beat her nearly to death. And not only did they beat her nearly to death, they recorded the video and sent it to her family. And so, you know, at that point, it became a kidnapping. And so her family put the video on social media, hoping that somebody would recognize, you know, the situation and where she might be so that they can save her because they knew, you know, they were running out of time and Lord knows what was going to happen to her. And so the video did end up going viral and a local uh, activist there in South Carolina by the name of Tracy Fant. You guys may or may not have heard of her. What she does is she goes around um, the local community there um, in Greensboro area and, you know, find stories, especially related to the black community um, that we need to know about. So, you know, big ups to her for taking on this story and also sticking by the family as uh, Tashi uh, is going through her ordeal. And so Tashi was uh, later found. Actually, the guy, Jesse, her uh, daughter's father, dropped her off and at the hospital and she remained in intensive care. But now she is out. And her aunt, Darlene Atkins, said that Tashi sustained the following injuries. Says she had a broken nose, ribs, blood in her lungs, bruised spine, contusion to stomach uh, from being repeatedly uh, kicked. And so Jesse did a number on Tashi, to say the least. Now, um, it is also said that in one of his posts on a Facebook about a month ago, he offered a thousand dollars for somebody to, you know, do her in, beat her up or, you know, just, just do her dirty. So um, I'm not really for sure what their situation is. Clearly, it's not a good one. I mean, your daughter's father would kidnap you and beat you up along with two other women who they're still trying to identify. And so from that point, uh, Jesse went on the run. And on the 19th of March, they actually found him in a motel in Florida. So the FBI and everybody got involved, but they're still trying to figure out who the other two women were that helped him beat her nearly to death and uh, put her into the IC unit there uh, in South Carolina. And so uh, I would just like to say this, especially women, because I, I, I firmly believe this and I might get in a little bit of trouble with this. You know, you're dealing with crazy. Now, there are some instances where you might be sitting and all of a sudden, you know, do go upside your head without any warning. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but I think we know the level of crazy we're dealing with is not the first time, in a, especially in a, an abusive relationship, that crazy rears its ugly head. And again, this is, I'm not trying to victim blame at all. I wish uh, Tashi a speedy recovery. In fact, she has a GoFundMe. I'm going to put that in the link. So if you guys want to help her out as she recovers, says she's going to have a long road to recovery mentally and physically because, you know, as the injuries I just read to you, he he did, he and the woman did a number on her. But it's really a cautionary tale of be careful who you are dealing with because everybody ain't playing with a full deck. Even if it's somebody you've laid down with and created a child with, everybody doesn't have your best interest at heart. And so um, we are wishing her a speedy recovery. And as I tell the brothers, you know, when it comes to the, the pastier persuasion of women, sisters, leave those white boys alone. All right. So for more insightful videos and commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. And oh, wait, before I leave, I just wanted to really just reiterate this to you guys, reiterate this, that we won't hear these stories go viral. We won't hear these stories go viral at all. Um, you know, when I say viral, I mean in the news, you know, be picked up because had it been the other way around, as you guys know, too, with these Asians attacks, 
we're hearing a lot of it, you know, being geared at black people. Black people are attacking Asians. And so you're not going to see this on your local news or blown all up in the newspapers. And so we try to do that here, bring you guys the stories that you need to know that goes on in our community, right? So anyway, again, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.